So I'm going to do an oil change today to get the boat ready to be able to um, bring it over to Vancouver soon as to prepare for heading to Alaska. Um, so the first step is to warm the engine up. I haven't started it since um, ooh, December I guess now so we'll see how it starts. I'm sure it'll be fine. It always is. And the reason you want to start it prior to doing the oil change is it thins the oil out and makes it a lot easier to extract all the old stuff um, before putting the new stuff in and replacing the filter. And in this case um, I actually have a, a filter that you just clean. Um, and so I cleaned that using some diesel fuel. I started the engine for the first time in almost three months and it started no problem at all. There's the water coming out of the back. There's the engine running. Super smooth. It's been three months since it ran and it's just fine. So one of the things I really love about this boat is the really great access to the engine. And so you can see you get the whole top side here. There's a hatch down there that I'm going to access for the oil change. The whole front comes off here too. This whole hatch here comes right off. And this hatch comes off here too. And then even better, right in the back here um, comes off too. So there's the transmission, the uh, shaft seal, and there's the pump to pump the oil out. So pretty darn easy. I can get the jug in there and then you start pumping. And it pumps the oil out of the uh, oil pan. Okay, so here's the access to the um, fuel filter, the oil filter, sorry. And that's it right there, this gray thing. This is the fuel pump, um, the TDZ version that is fitted on um, many of the OM636 um, Mercedes diesels here. Yeah, so I'm going to open that up now. Oil will probably fall a little bit on the bottom, but I got a cloth set there, and then I will pull out the reusable filter, put it in this bucket, and then clean it with diesel. So I got the four bolts off now. Um, there's a little paper gasket. You can't really see it right now, but I got one to replace it. And the bolts are uh, 13 mil. You can't really see it focusing, but 13 mil socket to take those four off. So I've got that open. See it's just dripping a little bit down into that can still. That can about that half full of oil, so that's glad I put that there. And you can see the filter there now. So I'll take this out in a second once it's done dripping. So I've got the filter out now, and this is what it looks like. See the kind of gunk that it's held out. Next I gotta undo this screw here, or this bolt here, um, to properly detach this and then clean it up. Slide it off. There's what the interior looks like. So pretty cool that you can just um, clean this rather than having to grab a, a, a whole brand new one like unusual most engines. Less wasteful. Though I don't have a spare of this thing, which kind of freaks me out. And apparently they're pretty expensive, but I'm just really careful with it. Peel the old paper guy off. This old gasket. You can just kind of peel them off and I'll clean, put a new one on. Yeah, that's it. Just gonna bathe it in diesel fuel now. Okay, so I've got this all cleaned up. Got the um, filter all cleaned up now. The inside looks like. This comes off as so you can clean right in there. And then I've got the new uh, paper a gasket on there and so I can put this on here and I'll uh, put this back on here so let's see what we're doing here that's hooked up in there this goes back on there and this is also a uh, 13 mil It's all aluminum um, stuff, so obviously uh, not steel, but aluminum here. So you're, like anything, you just you don't want to over torque it. I'll just give it a little gentle snug. Ain't going nowhere. And now it's uh, it's all it's all ready to install. So this just slides on here. There's this little wee tab here that goes on the up, on the top, or it was on the side, sort of. I don't know if it really matters. So 
like that. Make sure the paper's all lined up. Yeah, looks good. And again, I don't torque them too much. It's aluminum casing, aluminum casing here. I've learned the very hard way what can happen when you over torque. Broken a bolt before on an engine on a uh, on the fuel lifter on my previous boat, and it cost me two hundred and fifty dollars to replace that little part. So that should be good. I'll leave this hatch open here in the meantime because I'll come back and make sure everything is good, I'm not leaking. And then finally, um, I'll go ahead and add oil to it. I believe it's about three liters. <clears throat> Let's add about three to start, and then I'll check the dipstick, of course. And it's using a <clears throat> straight grade SAA 30 oil. So just the old mineral oil, no synthetics or nothing for these engines. So I've added about four liters of oil now. Let me see, it looks good. It's not wanting to focus on, there it goes. I couldn't actually find in the manual about how much oil you're supposed to add, but it says four liters here, and I thought I recall seeing that. So it says four max. I'm pretty sure that means four liters max. Um, yeah, so we're all topped up, and we'll fire the engine up now. Six.